Is it just me, or is the so-called moral majority not even trying to be respectable anymore? Just a couple of days after I posted my rant about Maine voting to revoke same-sex marriage, this prick called Drody's Campaign, who lost an election for city councilor down there, said to me that the definition of marriage must be one man and one woman, that the gay camp was the only one that made it a rights issue, that being gay is a choice, you know, the usual horse shit. And if you think I'm going to just let this be, you clearly haven't seen the show before. Let's start with this business about the definition of marriage clearly being between one man and one woman. Well, according to who? Depending on which religion or denomination or culture you ask, marriage can be defined as all sorts of combinations of human, not all of them simply one man and one woman. In fact, in ancient times, same-sex marriage was quite common, not that the Christian right will ever acknowledge it, because it requires them to read a book not endorsed by the 700 Club. Jerody's argument that he helped restore the original form is also very dubious when you consider that the original form not only forbade marriage outside of your race or religion, but by and large women had no choice in who they were going to marry, and, more often than not, it was done as little more than a business deal. On top of that, it was not only common but expected that the husband would keep a mistress. Not that kind of mistress! Thank you. The point is, marrying out of love is a fairly new phenomenon, despite what the so-called Family Values Clan says. If anyone out there doesn't believe me, I suggest that you go to a very special building in your town. It's called a library. Oh, and I'd be negligent if I didn't point out that there are parts of the Bible, like Deuteronomy 21, that say it's totally fine for a man to force a woman to marry him as a sort of war trophy. I'd also be sloppy if I didn't point out that it was totally normal for marriages to happen at age 12 in those days. Wow, how loving and godly. Incidentally, this same man also claimed that by criticizing a clearly discriminatory point of view like his, I'm being a constitutional revisionist. Really? Does that mean he also thinks that mixed marriage, decriminalized homosexuality, women's rights, desegregation, and even the separation of church and state should all be revoked as well? What about the patronizingly named Defense of Marriage Act, which only exists to discriminate against gays? By the way, I just love how a guy like him shuts down critics by saying he won't talk to people who are intolerant. That's kind of like a neo-Nazi slamming people who have issues with swastikas. He's also one of those who dismisses gays as a whole by saying that being gay is a choice. Uh, yeah. You ever notice how you almost always hear this bullshit from people who have either never had a non-judgmental talk with a homosexual or have never willingly talked to one at all? Now, I know that science isn't entirely sure what does cause homosexuality, but there are a couple of things that are certain. One is that, since it is found in animals all the time, that pretty much destroys any argument that is unnatural. The second is that there is no evidence whatsoever that people consciously choose to be gay. Furthermore, at the risk of ripping off David Cross, try actually thinking this attitude through a little. Even in this supposedly enlightened part of the world, if anyone even thinks you're gay, then no matter how young or old you are, you are going to be harassed, assaulted, singled out, discriminated against, raped, or murdered solely because of what gender you're supposedly attracted to. Not only that, but you can't count on the powers that be to do anything about it. They may ignore your troubles, or simply say that you got what you deserved. This includes many of the supposedly moral and upstanding people in the church. Yeah, that really sounds like a life I'd like to live. By the way, don't even get me started on arguments like, you support gay marriage, so you must be gay, or what did the Christian right take away? Seriously, do you idiots not hear yourselves talk? Do you really not understand how stupid you sound? The cold-bloodedness and hypocrisy of the traditional values people never ceases to amaze me. They call themselves devout Christians more often than not, but even I know that Jesus said to let what is the government's belong to the government. Kind of like he also said to judge not lest ye be judged, to live a non-capitalist life, and to live as a community. Not that the moral majority likes to hear any of those things either. And let's not forget, they call the same-sex laws in Maine undemocratic even though they were voted in freely by the elected Senate. It seems really convenient to me that of all the things they could get nitpicky about in politics, it's things that give rights to people that they despise for no good reason. I bet you they would never go to this much trouble if the same Senate declared that only conservative Christians be allowed to vote. Enough said.